in a controlled environment you are going to run your application so uh, what are the benefits of uh, uh, simulating any application instead of practically running it it opens the possibility of evaluating the supposition which you have made regarding that application suppose you have made some suppositions that this application will run in this way these are the parameters so uh, by simulating you can check whether it is running properly or not your supposition was true or not so instead of running uh, it into actual environment it simulation will give you a test environment in which you run your application and test whether it is running properly or not so uh, in case of cloud computing uh, simulation tool will help you in giving a repeatable and controllable environment as well as if there are any bottlenecks or limitations in your uh, algorithm scheduling algorithm then you can find it through uh, this method of simulation you don't have to uh, build a whole cloud environment which is very costly to build and which is very time consuming also so in this case simulation will help you find the limitations in a short period of time the uh, second or third one is uh, you can have different workload mix also like you can give uh, various kinds of task various uh, you can develop various kinds of virtual machines and develop their mappings according to your algorithm last one is it is free of cost that is uh, you just have to run this simulation tool which is open source on your laptop or desktop machine so cloud sim is basically a toolkit or you can say it is a library of java classes for simulation of cloud computing scenarios in a simpler term so what are the various features of cloud sim first one as i have told you you can uh, model and simulate large scale cloud computing infrastructure your data center on a single computing node uh, if you have to model your data center otherwise you will need a large infrastructure so in this case you can build that large infrastructure that that data center on a single computing node and moreover it uh, makes you available virtualization engine virtualization engine is it aids in creation and management of multiple independent and co-hosted virtual machines means first of all your simulation tool will build the data center and then you can create multiple host on in this data center and on, on those host you can create multi, multiple virtual machines also and moreover you can create multiple tasks uh, independent or dependent Uh, whatever uh, kind of task you want to build all this can be built in a single computing node with this kit and it is just a library of java kit so uh, you will get basic classes for data centers virtual machines applications user resources and various policies can also be built using classes policies is your scheduling algorithm so they can be built using these classes so uh, what you have to do is you will get the basic classes only basic algorithm simplest algorithms you have to extend these classes or you have to modify these classes for creating your own policies or creating your own scenarios of scheduling so it can be thought of as building blocks of your own simulated cloud environment so what is the prerequisite for this tool you must be knowing java programming basic java programming and knowledge about cloud computing and knowledge on programming uh, ide is like eclipse or netbeans these three things are necessary to learn before working on cloud sim so this is uh, this diagram is showing you the cloud infrastructure uppermost part uh, uppermost rectangle part is showing you that uh, data center is there and each data center consists of multiple host second layer is showing you host so a uh, data center will consist of many host and host will instantiate scheduler virtual machine scheduler and virtual machine scheduler will allocate the processors to virtual machine basic structure is that you will be having multiple physical servers in a data uh, center physical server will be known by the name of host in this case and virtual machines are the classes by the name of vm virtual machine so what we are going to do is each host is having multiple processors so you are going to create multiple virtual machines on a single host 
so what we have to schedule is we have to divide these processors into virtual machines according to a scheduling policy this is the concept behind vm scheduling so later on we will run uh, learn about cloudlets also what are cloudlets so data center is a class built in cloud sim and it will mo model the core infrastructure level services that is your data center actual data center in cloud will be modeled through data center class in cloud sim that is it will represent your hardware part so it is actually it will not be a hardware it will be a software class but it is modeled simulated as a data center so uh, it will be composed of a set of hosts which is responsible for managing virtual machines during their life cycle <laughs> then is host that is your physical machines or in data center as i have told you first of all you will create a data center class which is having physical machines for those physical machines the class which has been built in cloud sim is known as hello hello हेलो सर सर आप ना एक एक साइड पे कनेक्ट करें या तो गूगल हैंग आउट पे कनेक्ट करें या फिर वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग पे आपके इसलिए प्रॉब्लम आ रही है सर आप एक साइड पे कनेक्ट करें या स्पीकर एक चलाएं। सर माइक दोनों ऑन हो गए या फिर सो दिस पोस्ट क्लास विल बी रिप्रेजेंटिंग अ फिजिकल कंप्यूटिंग सर्वर इन डेटा सेंटर सो डेटा सेंटर विल बी हैविंग मल्टीपल पोस्ट और मल्टीपल फिजिकल सर्वर्स सो वी असाइन अ प्री कंफिगर्ड प्रोसेसिंग कैपेबिलिटी मेमोरी स्टोरेज टू दिस कंप्यूटिंग लोड मींस होस्ट क्लास विल बी हैविंग एज इट्स एट्रीब्यूट्स और यू कैन से वेरिएबल्स एज मेमोरी हाउ मच मेमोरी इट इज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ हाउ मच स्टोरेज दैट इज दिस स्टोरेज इट इज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ हाउ मच हाउ मेनी प्रोसेसिंग कोर्स इट इज हैविंग सो वी हैव बिल्ट अ क्लास होस्ट which is having attributes as memory storage number of processing cores id so many attributes we have specified so using these attributes we can specify that this host is having 10 processes this host is having 512 mb memory so by using these characteristics these attributes we will be specifying the configuration of a host then is we are having vm class vm class is modeled for a virtual machine you want to uh, you will be creating virtual machines on host different types of host so those virtual machines will be represented by using this class vm so each host can simultaneously instantiate multiple virtual machines so each host will be having multiple vms in this case and we will having multiple processor sharing policies as i have told you that a host will be having multiple processors and we will divide these processes into multiple virtual machines and there are basically two types of policies are specified time shared policy and space shared policy space shared policy is like if you have only one processor in the host and you want to create two virtual machines then space shared policy is that first of all that processor will be used by one virtual machine and then if it finishes its task then we will give that uh, processor to another virtual machine means they will be using the processor sequentially one by one this policy is known as space shared policy time shared policy is you must have heard uh, heard word concurrent that is simultaneously uses means for some time that processor will be used by one virtual machine and for some other time it will be used by second virtual means they will be sharing it one by one at the concurrent time period means parallelly they will, they will be share, it will be shown as parallelly but uh, they will be uh, switching between uh, processor will be switching between these virtual machines this type of policy is known as time shared policy you have heard in cpu scheduling also time shared scheduling it is same as that one. so a cloudlet cloudlet is basically your task the application of user 
till now we were talking about data center part data center host virtual machine now we come to user side user will send its task or applications to the data center for executing them so those task will be referred as cloudlets in cloud sync so it will model the cloud cloud based application services which are commonly deployed in the data centers so every application has a pre assigned instruction length as you know uh, whatever program you are going to run it has some number of instructions so in this case cloudlet will also be having some attributes and one of the attributes is its uh, uh, mip that is million instructions uh, in this case uh, the speed of uh, processors will be mips that is million instructions per second so when we refer to a processor in this case we will represent its speed such as we are saying that its speed is 10 then we will say 10 mips that is it can run 10 million instructions per second so every cloudlet will be uh, shown by million instructions like if we say this cloudlet is having a length of 20 it means it are uh, this uh, is having 20 million instructions in this case instruction length is this one then is cloudlet scheduler cloudlet scheduler is that uh, suppose we are having one virtual machine and we are having two cloudlets that is two tasks we are having and we are having a sim single virtual machine so how can a single virtual machine run these two tasks one method is it will run those tasks one by one so this thing is known as this concept is known as phase shared cloudlet scheduling in which tasks are run one by one by the virtual machine if the tasks are run simultaneously switching between the virtual machine is switched between two processors this policy is known as time shared policy so the we have two types of policies in cloudlet scheduler one is phase shared policy which has been represented by cloudlet scheduler phase shared function and another is time shared policy which has been represented by cloudlet scheduler time shared so the thing which has been written in brackets that is the actual class or function which has been mentioned in cloud sim and time shared and phase shared which i have written they are actually the name of these policies vm scheduler vm scheduler as i have already told you that uh, suppose a host is having one processor and that processor has to be shared between different virtual machines so there are again two policies time shared and phase shared phase shared means they will share it one by one and time shared means the uh, processor will switch over between two virtual machines so there are again two policies phase shared policy and time shared policy this diagram is showing you four scenarios first scenario uh, can you tell me uh, what is happening in first scenario actually the x axis is showing you the time and y axis is showing you number of processors available so in this case we have two processors and we have eight tasks eight applications you are having so in this case i'll tell you for in the first scenario we are having phase shared policy for both levels of scheduling means vm scheduler is also phase shared and cloudlet scheduler is also phase shared that is task will be executed one by one on processors as well as virtual machines will get the processor one by one let's say uh, in the first case as you can see first of all task t1 is given the processor p1 means first processor is given to task t1 when it has finished completing t1 task has finished completing only then the processor one has been given to task t3 similarly task t2 is given to processor p2 when it has finished only then we have given this uh, second processor to task t4 means they when a task is finished only then we are giving that processor to another task so this type of policy is phase shared policy so it means this is 
cloudlet say shared policy fine now virtual machine one has finished its four task what were the four task with virtual machine one t1 t2 t3 and t4 these were the four tasks which were given to virtual machine one when virtual machine one has finished all its tasks then we have given those two processes to virtual machine two so virtual machine two what it is doing is it is first executing its task t5 and then t7 on another processor it is running t6 and t8 so totally space shared policy is there space shared for cloudlets as well as space shared for virtual machines so uh, in the second case b part uh, can you tell me what is the policy we have adopted for cloudlets and what is the policy we have adopted for virtual machines anybody in this case uh, you can see that tasks are executing concurrently the time shared policy for task that is cloudlets and space shared policy for virtual machines and in the third case time shared policy for vms and space shared policy for cloud cloudlets actually and in the last part d part we are having both as time shared policy so this uh, you can mix these policies means cloudlets can be time shared and virtual machines can be space shared or both can be time shared both can be space shared matlab you can uh, have any type of policy so how actually cloud sim works we uh, i have shown it in the form of flow chart step by step how uh, this simulation will occur so first step is to initialize the cloud sim package there is a function named init i n i t init that function is called which is inbuilt in this case you have to call that function which will actually initialize the cloud sim package then is we will create first step is to create data centers so data center class is available in this case you have to call its constructor or its function to create the data center and pass the required parameters then in next case a broker is created broker is actually an interface between user and provider so next is broker is created after that virtual machines will be created and then cloudlets which are submitted by user they will be created and then simulation is started there is a function start simulation which is called for starting the simulation and then we will stop the simulation Simul uh, when we have started the simulation all the tasks are mapped to the cloudlets uh, sorry virtual machines and then we have to stop the simulation by calling the function stop simulation after that it will give you the output how it has mapped to them and what is the uh, time they uh, taken by those cloudlets to execute and on which virtual machine the task has been executed this all has been shown in this case then uh, at, uh, in this case uh, i'll be showing you different examples <coughs> in case of cloud sim we are having 6 uh, to 8 examples given in this case by studying these examples you can learn how cloud sim is working and then you can extend these basic classes to mold to develop your own scheduling algorithm so uh, the simplest example is shown in example 1 it is showing how to create a data center with one host and run one cloudlet on it means you will be having one data center there is a single host in this data center there is a single virtual machine on this host and one user is there and that user will run one cloudlet on this virtual machine simplest case is there so by using this example you will come to know how to create a data center how to create a host and how to put a virtual machine on this host and then how to schedule the cloudlets on these virtual machines so simple concepts are given in this example then there is an example 
which in which we are having a single data center and single host is there but we will put two virtual machines on this single host and we are having two cloudlets so in this case each cloudlet will run on a single virtual machine simplest case but in this case you can see how to create multiple virtual machines on a single host in the previous example there was only one uh, virtual machine but in this case you will learn how to create two virtual machines on a single host and how to run these two cloudlets on these two virtual machines this is another example this is third example in which we have added one more host previously we are using only one host this will tell you how to create multiple host more than one host so each host will be having one virtual machine and we are again having two cloud machine the next in the example 4 what concept is added here you have added one more data center so how to create multiple data centers you can learn in this example example number 5 in this case you have created two users means what we are go going to do in these example step by step we are uh, seeing how to create in first step we have seen how to create multiple virtual machines then we have seen how to create multiple host then we have seen how to cre create multiple data centers and now we are seeing how to create multiple users so last one is everything is scalable means till now we were using two host two virtual machine two data centers two users but in this case we have used array means multiple virtual machines multiple data centers multiple host this all can be there so uh, after studying this example example number 6 you can actually uh, build a cloud environment simulated cloud environment and you can build your scheduling algorithm by extending these basic classes so actually uh, you have to learn all these examples only then you can uh, know ki how to create the classes how to run the algorithms so how this is the most important step you should note this point how to install cloud sim with eclipse this is the most important step because only following these steps you will be able to run the simulation of cloud in the first step you have to just copy the cloud sim folder on your system you will be having cloud sim as i have also sent the cloud sim uh, by dvds or by mail to all nodal centers they will be having this cloud sim folder so they will just copy this cloud sim folder to their systems so first step is to just copy not install i am saying just copy this folder to your system so in the next step you copy the eclipse folder on your system it has also been provided in the dvd or in the mail i have sent to you so first of all copy the cloud sim folder and next step is to copy the eclipse folder on your systems and the requirement is that system should have been installed with jdk 6 that is java 6 version so three requirements are there you have to copy eclipse you have to copy cloud sim you have to install java 6 version in this case this particular cloud sim folder which i have given so if you have got these three in your system after that you can start running cloud sim so next step is just open the eclipse exe in your eclipse folder open the eclipse folder open the eclipse folder and run the eclipse exe in that folder then after that when you run the exe uh, of eclipse there is a menu file in the file you will run new java project and you will give a new name to a java project <coughs> i'll show you practically also these are just the steps i have uh, so that you can write them 
then you will give the project name to this new java project then there is a checkbox with the name of use default location so you have to uncheck this checkbox you have to uncheck this checkbox in the next step there is a browse button on this uh, window and after clicking on the browse button you will have to put the location where your cloud sim folder is located just put the location at this place and then if uh, jre is enabled select jre then project layout second option next and after clicking on next just finish it you will be having cloud sim in your eclipse ide <laughs> so i'll just show you practically how to do it so this is my eclipse folder in the eclipse folder this is the exe of eclipse just click it so here you can give any path like i have given c drive workspace so just click on file in the file we will click on new java project it is it okay ma'am agar wo chalane ke liye nahi hai so uh, first of all we have to put project name after that we have to check uncheck this checkbox use default location so project name can be anyone then uncheck the use default location so this is the browse button when you click on the browse button you have to give the location where your cloud sim folder is located so here just click on this one okay this will give you the location where your cloud sim folder is located just now click on next and finish your cloud sim will be loaded in your eclipse ide these are the simple steps nothing you have to be done more but i am not clicking next and finish because my uh, system my this uh, eclipse ide is already having the cloud sim project so duplicacy cannot be there so i am just uh, telling you how to create this so till now uh, i have told you what is cloud sim and how to install it till now if you are having any queries related to cloud sim then please ask me otherwise i am just going to start with the examples that how uh, these classes are built in the cloud sim folder 
any nodal center any anybody is having query till now how to install it or what is cloud sail what is the purpose of using cloud sail any query regarding this excuse me ma'am only cloud sail ppt ha ji we provide the ppt ppt yes i uh, this is in your dvd i have sent you dvd the ppt is in that dvd uh i have made but us folder mein dali hai usne uh you have got the mail also ttc.jodhpur pe मैंने जो जितना भी सीडी का सीडी मैंने सीडी का फोल्डर है ना उसी में मैंने डाल दिया जो आपका फोल्डर है ना क्लाउड सिम वाला उसी में ही पीपीटी डाली हुई है ओके ओके थैंक यू हां उसमें मैंने मैंने ना वो रार फाइल बना के सेंड कर दी थी एनी अदर नोडल सेंटर एनी अदर पर्सन हैविंग क्वेरी रिलेटेड टू दिस पॉइंट हेलो हेलो हां जी हेलो हेलो Uh, पे इंस्टॉलेशन इंस्टॉलेशन के लिए काफी टाइम ले रही है। है। uh, देखिए सिर्फ जावा जावा की करनी जी जी, जी, ओके। ओके। थैंक यू। Just yeah, actually, the cloud sim 2.1.1, which I am using, it is compatible with JDK 6. Otherwise, uh, the versions which are coming now, they may be compatible with other Java versions. So, because I have used these things, so I know that these are compatible with each other. Maybe it can run on a higher version, but maybe it can give some problems. So, these are compatible JDK 6, cloud sim 2.1.1. So, should I start for the So next step is. Hello. Yes. Actually, your voice is not clearly audible. Hello. Hello. Hi. No, your voice is not clear. My receiving bot come. Download. My speed bot come. What is it? Speed bot come. I think. No, this is our case. Audio is not receiving. Video. Hello. 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 मैंने कहा पूछ लें कि और किसी ने पूछना तो पूछ लो मैं एक सेंटर की नहीं है बाकी की तो हां जी ओके एनी अदर सेंटर हैविंग एनी क्वेरी हेलो इज देयर एनी क्वेरी कैन स्टार्ट विद एग्जांपल 1 वीडियो इज नॉट कमिंग ओके वीडियो डिस्टॉर्टेड है बैंडविड की प्रॉब्लम आ रही है इसको भेजो दोबारा डीटी को दोबारा भेज दो हेलो हां जी आप कंटिन्यू कर दो अपना मेरे को ऑडियो नहीं मिल रहा है विजिबल इसको हां जी टीटी से जो उठ के फिर ये वीडियो खाने में बस आप सर बाद में मैसेज कर दो ठीक
मैडम उनका तो बेनिफिट्स ही नहीं है क्या करेंगे यू कैन मेक अ डिसीजन अभी कर रहा हूं एक मिनट देख लो एटीपी जोत बोल 35 है 35 है 35 में कुछ नहीं होगा उनका कुछ नहीं मिलेगा उनको तो कर दूंगा आप चिंता मत करो आप कंटिन्यू रखिए सो वी स्टार्ट विद एग्जांपल 1 In example one, just uh, I'm starting with main function. Java is uh, having main function as C is having, C++ is having. So in the main function, we, as I've told you, first uh, step uh, for cloud sim uh, starting uh, simulation in cloud sim is to call the init function to initialize this package. So. So this is the cloud sim dot init function. So first step is to call this function cloud sim dot init. This has been shown here. Initialize the cloud sim library. First line you are seeing magnifier. Uh, Magnify this thing. The first line you are seeing initialize the cloud sim library. Video Is it visible to all centers? Hello. Is it visible to all centers? नहीं नहीं video. Where? Actually video video नहीं आ रहा है. बिल्कुल नहीं आ रहा Distorted. Distorted. आप सर सर आप उसको हैं आल हेलो हेलो सर हैंगअप जो हैंगअप कीजिए सर आल हैंगअप कर दीजिए उसके बाद ही डाल कीजिए कर दीजिए सर अभी आपका हुआ नहीं आपका आपकी आपकी बैंडविड्स आपकी बैंडविड्स बहुत कम है सर आपकी बैंडविड्स बहुत कम है सर यू ट्यूब में रिक्वेस्ट हेलो सर आपकी बेनिफिट बहुत कम है इसलिए प्रॉब्लम आ रही कटाप हो रहा है
Is it visible to all the nodal centers now? Excuse me, ma'am. Hanji. Ma'am, you have said that you have to go to the new folder and check the name of the new folder, but what do you have to do? There are two PPTs in there. Scheduling and CloudSync. Do you have to open CloudSync PPT? The last slide has all the installation steps. क्या दिया हुआ है ना उसमें लास्ट स्लाइड में स्टेप्स दिए हुए हैं ना इंस्टॉलेशन के कि कैसे करना है ठीक है मैं वो चेक कर लेता हूँ थैंक यू मैं वो भी सेंटर सारे कनेक्टेड हैं सो इस इट विजिबल टू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल द सेंटर्स नाउ आई हैव ज़ूम्ड इन दिस पॉइंट व्हिच आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउ Yes, ma'am. Visible, ma'am. Okay. So, first step is to initialize the cloud sim library. As it is visible here, I have just zoomed in that line, that instruction, in which we have initialized the cloud sim package. So, uh, we they have also written comments with all the instructions. So, you can clearly uh, interpret them. And moreover, when you uh, bring your cursor at the function, it will display a help to you also. That what is the uh, purpose of using this function as it is showing you in the right hand side. This scale. Maybe interrupt you. Hanji. Maybe upon PTC, thoda beach mein chhod gaya tha. Maybe it repeated. Actually, it. Log project wale koi jaise hard karna baad is install hone ke baad se. Install hone ke baad se abhi batayi. Uske baad maine kuch nahi bataya abhi tak. Ye short file kaha se hai? Ekdam confused ho gaya. Thoda sa repeat karna hai. Dekhi, aapne kya karna hai? सबसे पहले Eclipse की EXE ओपन कीजिए। Eclipse की EXE ओपन करके आपने उसमें New फाइल में जाके New Java Project फाइल New आज के नवोदय में नाम प्रोजेक्ट नेम आप कोई भी दे दीजिए टेस्ट वन दे दीजिए टेस्ट टू दे दीजिए कोई भी नाम दे दीजिए उसके बाद एक वहाँ पे चेकबॉक्स है यूज डिफॉल्ट लोकेशन I will check it out. And there will be a browse button on there. Browse. Right. You will click on the browse. What will you see there? Where you have copied your CloudSim folder, that location you will give. Okay. After that, you have to do the next and finish. Okay, next. Okay. 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 इसमें टेस्ट वन में आपने क्या करना है टेस्ट वन में आपके एग्जांपल्स होंगे कुछ टेस्ट वन को आप खोलिए जी है बिल्कुल एग्जांपल्स हैं एग्जांपल्स को खोलिए उसमें एग्जांपल वन डॉट जावा होगा वो आप खोलना है उसपे मैं आपको वो बताने लगी टेस्ट आप खोलोगे टेस्ट खोलोगे ना फोल्डर उसके अंदर आपको मिलेगा क्लाउड सिम एग्जांपल वन डॉट जावा वो ओपन करना है आपने आप एक बार थोड़ा प्रैक्टिकली देखिए ना आपके सिस्टम पे तो देखिए काम कर लेंगे अब आपके सिस्टम पे कीजिए मैं हमें यह देखिए एग्जांपल ये देखिए ये टेस्ट फोल्डर है देखिए मैंने ज़ूम किया है अब टेस्ट फोल्डर जो आपने अभी क्रिएट किया होगा मिल गया आपको टेस्ट इसके अंदर आपका है एग्जांपल्स क्लाउड सिम 2.1.1 एग्जांपल्स ये फर्स्ट फोल्डर ठीक है इसको खोलिए ठीक है उसके बाद इसमें ये आपको दे नजर आ रहा होगा एग्जांपल्स सेकंड वाला इसमें है क्लाउड सिम एग्जांपल वन डॉट जाओ ठीक है ठीक है इसको ओपन करिए डबल क्लिक कीजिए ओपन हो जाएगा राइट साइड पे ठीक है बस इसी को एक्सप्लेन करने लगे थैंक यू ओके राइट साइड पे आ जाइए
ये फर्स्ट इसमें जो चीज है जो एक्सप्लेन करने वाली है दैट इज टू इनिशियलाइज द क्लाउड सिम लाइब्रेरी इसी में ये इनिशियलाइज द क्लाउड सिम लाइब्रेरी उस लाइन पे आ जाइए आप मेन फंक्शन के अंदर इन द मेन फंक्शन जस्ट कम टू द स्टेटमेंट वेयर इट हैज रिटर्न इनिशियलाइज द क्लाउड सिम लाइब्रेरी Have you got this line? Then uh, we will call this function init function. It will take three arguments. Three parameters are there. First parameter will specify that how many users are there in this uh, cloud sim simulation. How many users are you are going to create? So num user. We have uh, taken a variable num user. This one, int num user is equal to one. Means we are currently taking only one user. Then we have to create an instance of calendar. Calendar एक इसमें class है जिसके through आप current time, date, year ये सब access कर सकते हो Java में. तो हमने क्या करना है calendar dot get instance function को call करके calendar का एक object create कर लेना. ये object हमने init function में pass करना. बिकॉज इसके थ्रू हम करंट अगर डेट गेट करना चाहते हैं करंट टाइम गेट करना चाहते हैं वो कर सकते हैं सो दिस इज द सेकंड आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑफ इनिट फंक्शन फर्स्ट आर्ग्यूमेंट इज नंबर ऑफ यूजर सेकंड आर्ग्यूमेंट इज एन इंस्टांस ऑफ कैलेंडर थर्ड आर्ग्यूमेंट इज ट्रेस फ्लैग दिस थर्ड वन ट्रेस फ्लैग इज इट विजिबल ट्रेस फ्लैग सो इट इज जस्ट टू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ट्रेस द इवेंट्स वेन यू रन द क्लाउड सिम so uh, tell, uh, now we have uh, assigned it false value you can assign it true also by default hum ise abhi false rakh rahe hain ki we want to trace the we don't want to trace the events so in it mein dekhiye teeno cheeze humne pass kar di hain num user calendar and trace flag so this is the first statement is it clear till first statement you have called the init function you have passed three arguments number of users calendar and trace flag so three arguments are passed so this is the your first step now i come to second step so this is here it is written second step in the second step it is written create data sentence visible to you create data sentence so data centers what are data centers they are actually resource providers which are having all the infrastructure part so how to create a data center <coughs> this is a function create data center just see this one create data center this is called to create a data center and in the bracket what is the argument just the name of the data center aap data center ko kya naam dena chahte ho वो आपने लिख देना है इसमें पैरामीटर जो है इट इज अट्रिंग टाइप एंड यू हैव टू जस्ट राइट द नेम ऑफ द डेटा सेंटर वट एवर नेम यू वॉन्ट टू गिव सो वेन यू कॉल दिस फंक्शन क्रिएट डेटा सेंटर इट विल रिटर्न अ डेटा सेंटर ऑब्जेक्ट टू यू ठीक है डेटा सेंटर का ऑब्जेक्ट आपके पास आ जाएगा अब आपके पास एक डेटा सेंटर आ गया है जिस ऑब्जेक्ट का नाम क्या है डेटा सेंटर जीरो डेटा सेंटर जीरो है ठीक है उसके बाद हमारा थर्ड स्टेप क्या है दिस इज आर थर्ड स्टेप थर्ड स्टेप में हम क्या कर रहे हैं ब्रोकर क्रिएट कर रहे हैं ब्रोकर कैसे क्रिएट किया है क्रिएट ब्रोकर फंक्शन से ये लाइन देखिए डेटा सेंटर ब्रोकर ये तो है क्लास का नाम जिस जिस जो कि जिसका कि ऑब्जेक्ट आप क्रिएट कर रहे हो क्रिएट कैसे करना ऑब्जेक्ट एक फंक्शन कॉल करना है क्रिएट ब्रोकर ये देखिए क्रिएट ब्रोकर है फंक्शन इसमें आपने क्रिएट ब्रोकर कॉल किए कोई आर्ग्यूमेंट पास नहीं किए एंड क्रिएट ब्रोकर फंक्शन विल रिटर्न ब्रोकर ऑब्जेक्ट थर्ड स्टेप इज टू क्रिएट ब्रोकर 
by calling function create broker first step was to call init function second step was to call create data center function to create a data center third step is to call create broker function to create a broker uh, object so three steps abhi tak ho gaye now fourth step is to create virtual machine there it is written fourth step to create one virtual machine fourth step mein humne virtual machine create karni hai array list kya hota hai uh, usually we create arrays which are not resizable c++ mein aap jab bhi java uh, c++ ya c mein arrays create karte ho to unka size fix hota hai 10 दे दिया तो 10 ही रहेगा 20 दे दिया 20 रहेगा जावा में एरे लिस्टिक क्लास है जिसके थ्रू आप रिसाइजेबल एरे कंस्ट्रक्ट कर सकते मतलब इनिशियली अगर आपका साइज 10 है और आप 10 के बाद और एलिमेंट्स इसमें डाल रहे हो तो वो ऑटोमेटिकली रिसाइज हो जाएगा मतलब उसमें आप और 10 एलिमेंट्स एड कर सकते हो सो एरे लिस्ट जो है वो हमने उस टाइप का वर्चुअल मशीन की क्लास को क्रिएट कर लिया बिकॉज हम चाहते हैं कि हमारी कल को अभी तो हम एक ही वर्चुअल मशीन क्रिएट कर रहे हैं बट कल को दो तीन दस बारह जितनी भी आप करना चाहते हो उसके अकॉर्डिंग हमने यहाँ पे लिख दिया है न्यू एरे लिस्ट और यहाँ पे लिख दिया है वी एम वी एम इज बेसिकली क्लास टू क्रिएट योर वर्चुअल मशीन सो इन दिस स्टेप वी आर क्रिएटिंग अ लिस्ट ऑफ वर्चुअल मशीन एंड वी आर स्टोरिंग दैट लिस्ट इन अ वेरिएबल नोन एज वी एम लिस्ट तो वीएम लिस्ट लेफ्ट साइड पे लिखा हुआ है दैट इज अ लिस्ट टाइप वेरिएबल एंड इट विल स्टोर अ लिस्ट ऑफ वर्चुअल मशीन्स लिस्ट ऑफ वर्चुअल मशीन्स एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट इट न्यू एरे लिस्ट एंड देन द क्लास नेम क्लास नेम हम यहां पे क्यों दे रहे हैं कि जो हम ऑब्जेक्ट्स बना रहे हैं जो हम लिस्ट बना रहे हैं उनकी कौन सी क्लास है किस टाइप के ऑब्जेक्ट्स को हम स्टोर करने वाले हैं तो यहां पे हमने यहां पे वीएम दिया है इसे next step is uh, we have to give the description of virtual machine virtual machine ke kuch characteristics honge kuch attributes honge aap kis type ki virtual machine create karna chahte ho kya kya characteristics de sakte hain hum virtual machine ko anybody virtual machine ke aap kya kya uh, specifications de sakte ho kya kya configurations aap rakh sakte ho i have already told you you can set this is a Yes, you can uh, set basically its speed, MIPS. What is the speed? How many processors it are it is having, and you can set how much memory it is having, how much storage it is having. So this all is specified using these variables. So in the first variable VM ID, that is we are giving an unique identifier to this virtual machine. In the second step MIPS, MIPS is showing its speed that how much speed is required for this virtual machine that is 1000 it can run 1000 machine instructions per second this virtual machine in the next uh, step we have written size is equal to 10000 that is its storage this storage size then ram means memory size so uh, size after size storage size we have ram we have bandwidth pes number means number of cpus this virtual machine is having number of processors how many processors you want to assign to this virtual machine so you can specify 1 2 3 how many processors are required for this virtual machine then vmm is which uh, virtualization uh, software you are using just this is a string you are not using any software you are just mentioning that this will be used because this is just a simulation part so i have written here zen 
then actually how virtual machine object will be created in the previous step we were just creating a list variable in which virtual machines will be stored now how to create actual virtual machine so you are calling the constructor of virtual machine constructor do you know about constructors so uh, we are calling the constructor of virtual machine new vm v is capital m is small vm then its parameters first parameter is virtual machine id then broker id mips whatever characteristics we have specified we will pass them one by one to this function all the parameters have been passed now see what has been passed as the last parameter this is the last parameter of this is the last parameter of virtual machine constructor that is cloudlet scheduler time share means the task which will be assigned to this virtual machine they will be assigned using time shared policy time shared policy means this virtual if we assign three tasks to this virtual machine they will be executed concurrently and not sequentially so this is we have specified here now when you will be practicing this example what you can do is you can change it to space shared just Uh, delete time part and write space capital S P A C E small case and one more thing you have to import this folder in the upper part upper जो है यहाँ पे ये ऊपर हमने कुछ packages import किए हुए हैं इसमें Java के इसमें एक पैकेज है सेकंड वन इंपोर्ट क्लाउडलेट शेड्यूलर टाइम शेयर ये एक पैकेज इंपोर्ट किया हुआ है यहाँ पे तो यहाँ पे आपने क्या करना है टाइम की बजाय स्पेस शेयर कर देना जिससे कि आपका स्पेस शेयर पैकेज जो है वो इंपोर्ट हो जाए ठीक है तो जब आप नीचे पॉलिसी चेंज करोगे तो ऊपर फोल्डर नेम भी आपको चेंज करना पड़ेगा तो टाइम शेयर के बजाय आप स्पेस शेयर यूज कर सकते अभी इस एग्जाम्पल में तो इतना डिफरेंस नहीं आएगा टाइम शेयर और स्पेस शेयर में बिकॉज एक ही टास्क है एक ही वर्चुअल मशीन है एक ही होस्ट है वेन यू क्रिएट एन एग्जाम्पल इन विच देर आर मल्टीपल टास्क एंड अ सिंगल मशीन इज देयर देन दिस विल बी इम्प्लीमेंटेबल इन दैट केस यू विल सी दैट इफ देर इज अ टाइम शेयर पॉलिसी देन सपोज स्टार्टिंग टाइम इज जीरो फॉर बोथ द टास्क and ending time is suppose 1000 1000 but if you are following space shared policy in that case the time for first task will be 0 to 500 and the second task will be 500 to 1000 or 1500 means second task will start when the first task has finished this is the case for space shared policy so in this case we are having time shared so now you have created virtual machine next step is add the vm to the vm list virtual machine one virtual machine you have created similarly you can create multiple virtual machine by the same line if you want to create multiple virtual machine just write this statement again and you can write vm1 vm2 object names can be different vm1 vm2 and finally you have to add these vms to the vm list we have created before vm list mein ye sari cheeze aapko add karni hai so the uh, function is vm list dot add and in the bracket you will specify the object of virtual machine that is vm now you have to submit this virtual machine to the broker <laughs> Oh, yeah.
रियाज पाड़ा इंस्टीट्यूट अपना माइक ऑफ कर लीजिए so in the next step you will submit this virtual machine list to the broker so that he can make interaction with the user so broker is basically interface between user and provider so you have to submit the whole virtual machine list to the broker for that the function name is broker dot submit vm list submit vm list function will be called and in the bracket you will specify the parameter as virtual machine list vm list fifth step is to create your cloud list now you have created data center you have created virtual machine in the next step you will create cloud list what is cloud list it is a task submitted by user so what can be the characteristics of a cloud list this will be created similarly as you have created virtual machine in the same way first of all you will define a list uh, variable and then you will call the constructor of cloudlet and pass the parameters and then that will be submitted to broker same steps are followed as we have seen in the case of virtual machine so i'll just uh, show you the properties of cloudlet what can be the properties of cloudlet first property is its id second property is its length length means this many billion instructions Right. File size is what is the file size of Cloudlet? Because it is an application, it is a task. So what is the file size? Then output size. When it is processed by the scheduler, when it is processed by the resources, what will be the output file size? So next is that one. Utilization model is that whether uh, Cloudlet is utilizing the virtual machine resources fully or not. so in this case we have simplified it we have written utilization model full then is a uh, cloudlet constructor is called and all those characteristics all those attributes are passed as parameters of this constructor utilization model is the concept that whether that cloudlet is utilizing the processing capacity of virtual machine fully or partially for the time being we are saying it that it is consuming it fully suppose that uh, processing capacity of virtual machine is 600 mipos and uh, task is requiring only 400 mipos is not requiring fully or memory is not fully utilized in that case we will say utilization model is partial but if in this case we are saying that it is utilizing it fully then the utilization model is set as utilization model full for the time being uh, whenever you devise your scheduling algorithm you will set it as utilization model full always uh, it is in depth if you want to uh, specifically work on this utilization model then you will change it otherwise in all the basic scheduling algorithms we will set it as full utilization model full Then, uh, one another model is I think there. Otherwise, there are no more models in this case. What is the unit of measurement of this file size? File size is uh, given here. I think it's uh, MB. It's MB. Now similarly, we have added cloudlet to cloudlet list. Ma'am, ETU value. हाँ जी. Ma'am, वो जो नीचे size दिया हुआ है वो कुछ forty thousand plus है. किसका? नीचे जो अभी आप बता रहे हैं ना cloudlet में cloudlet. हाँ जी. Cloudlet create करने में उसमें size forty thousand plus है. और वो आप बोल रहे हैं कि वो इंस्ट्रक्शंस का साइज है मिलियन इंस्ट्रक्शंस और ऊपर जो वर्चुअल मशीन क्रिएट हुई है 
उसका साइज थाउजेंड है इसी एग्जाम्पल हाँ जी हाँ जी ऐसा है कि वो वर्चुअल मशीन का साइज नहीं है उसकी स्पीड है वो स्पीड तो वो भी मिप्स में है मिलियन इंस्ट्रक्शन पर सेकंड में है कि जो एक सेकंड में वर्चुअल मशीन कितनी इंस्ट्रक्शंस जो है एग्जीक्यूट कर सकती है ठीक है एक सेकंड में वो थाउजेंड मशीन इंस्ट्रक्शंस एग्जीक्यूट कर सकती है उसे जॉब रन करनी है तो उसे कितना टाइम लगेगा फोर्टी थाउजेंड डिवाइड बाई थाउजेंड दैट इज इट विल टेक फोर हंड्रेड सेकेंड अच्छा मतलब इनका यूनिट सेम नहीं है ऊपर जो वो यूनिट है वो मिप्स में है और नीचे जो ये यूनिट है ये किस में हुआ हाँ जी ये है मशीन इंस्ट्रक्शंस बिकॉज आप कोई भी टास्क स्पेसिफाई करते हो तो टास्क आप स्पीड में नहीं स्पेसिफाई करते हो आप स्पेसिफाई करते हो नंबर ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शंस में अगर आप कोई एप्लीकेशन या प्रोग्राम दे रहे हो किसी शेड्यूलर को देन यू विल स्पेसिफाई दैट दिस प्रोग्राम इज हैविंग फोर्टी थाउजेंड मिलियन इंस्ट्रक्शंस this much fine and when you are specifying that this is the speed of virtual machine you will say the speed is 1000 machine instruction million instructions per second so there is difference that is speed and this is length is it clear is it clear <laughs> so there is a difference uh, is it clear to all of you that that was the speed of the virtual machine and this length is your actual instructions number of instructions so definitely unit will be different that is mips and this is only mi million instructions right so now we have uh, also created cloudlet now the last step is there uh, you have created all the resources uh, virtual machines tasks and uh, data centers now you have to start your simulation for starting simulation just call the function cloud sim dot start simulation this is this will start your simulation and uh, do all the mappings after that the function is cloud sim dot stop simulation it is necessary to stop the simulation also So just call this function, and finally the results will be printed. So I just execute this one. There is a menu run. By clicking on this run, here it is running. This uh, part which is down one. नीचे आप देख सकते हो कि ये आपका प्रोग्राम जो है रन हो गया है इसमें देखिए टाइम क्या आ रहा है टोटल टाइम कितना लिया है उसने 400 एंड स्टार्ट टाइम वाज जीरो एंड फिनिश टाइम वाज 400 बिकॉज वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडी That million, kithni, uh, forty thousand million instructions was there for a task, and the speed of virtual machine was thousand. So forty thousand divided by thousand, that will come out as four hundred seconds. So it, this task has taken four hundred seconds to execute. Now uh, we will be having one hour practical session, eleven thirty to twelve thirty. So all the participants at the nodal centers. can practices on this uh, simulator and what they can do is they can add one more virtual machine and they will run the same cloudlet on those virtual machines they can change the policies cloudlet time share and cloudlet space share moreover they can change the length and speed of the virtual machines so that they can see what differences are there by executing them so you just do the manipulations to the given examples and you will study how to make changes in this so we will meet at uh, 12:30 to have your queries after the practice session have you got those softwares cloud sim and all eclipse 
Hello, all the nodal centers. Hello, BTU Delhi. Uh, you have got the software? Yeah, ma'am. Uh, just practice is the software. Uh, give it to the participants so that they can practice. And we will be having a practical session from 11.30 to 12.30. Okay. Actually, oh, okay, madam, but uh, in the morning we could not able to connect uh, it to you. So please try to uh, tell some instructions to them in between so that they can uh, practice it in a proper way. So uh, what kind of instructions you need? I no, whatever know. till now it has happened till 11.30, the 11 o'clock, the uh, video was not proper or the connection was not proper. So it's not possible that I'll repeat all the lectures. I, I, that's what I'm telling you. I did not ask you to repeat everything. But in between, try, if they have any doubts, please try to help them. Uh, listen, if you want to visualize what we have already done, you can just open the YouTube and see my lecture. Th that is what I'm doing it here. No doubt about it. But if they have any doubts, please try to help them. One thing I'm saying. We will meet at 12.30 to have the queries from all the nodal centers. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Okay. So all the nodal centers? Yes, PTC, Hanji. Uh, we have encountered uh, one problem on running this code. And that is launching clouds, in example, one has encountered a problem. Exception occurred executing the online. Uh, this problem can be there because when you are running your Eclipse EXE, जब आपने क्लिप्स EXE स्टार्ट की है, तो उसमें आपने पास दिया था C Drive Workspace, ऐसे करके पास दिया था, आपने चेक किया है? बिल्कुल दिया था। Then I think जैसे जैसे आपने शो किया ना, वैसे वैसे लोग बिल्कुल नहीं बिल्कुल नहीं बिल्कुल। So try to run example two. If it is also giving an error, then it means it is not properly loaded. आप example two run करके देखिए। Just hold on. Same error. Same error, right? So please uh, upload it again. Cloud Sim, which is here, copy it again. And make a Java project from the This project will delete it. Okay. And. Hey, so, you have to reinstall it again? No, no. You have to delete this project, which you have made, new project. You have to delete it and make a new project. फाइल न्यू प्रोजेक्ट एक नया प्रोजेक्ट का नेम दीजिए इसके बाद अनचेक यूज डिफॉल्ट लोकेशन ब्राउज कीजिए और आफ्टर दैट नेक्स्ट एंड फिनिश जस्ट हांजी हांजी बिल्कुल पास कीजिए आप लोग प्लीज यू जस्ट टेक योर टी हेलो जस्ट यू जस्ट टेक योर टी एंड आफ्टर दैट मीट 11:30 एट दैट एसटीसी रूम हाँ 11:30 पे हम लोग जो एसटीसी का नीचे रूम है वहाँ पे आप मिले वहाँ पे ये इंस्टॉल्ड है तो वहाँ पे आप प्रैक्टिस करोगे ठीक है तो 11:30 टू 1 जो आपका सेशन है वो नीचे ही हाँ जी हेलो सी ड्राइव एक वर्कस्पेस आपने दे दिया था वहाँ पे इसलिए आपका और अभी जब हम ब्राउज करते हैं तो पास क्या दिया सी ड्राइव में देखिए जब आप ब्राउज कर रहे हैं तो जहाँ भी आपने क्लाउड सिम कॉपी किया है जिस फोल्डर में उसका पाथ देना है। वो आपका डिफ़ॉल्ट जो पाथ है ना सॉल्व करते तो हमें कुछ चेंज नहीं है। हाँ तो वो चेंज कर लीजिए ना चेंज कीजिए उसको। तभी तो वो एरर दे रहा है। हाँ इसीलिए एरर आ रहा है। परम जी तुम इसे देख सकते हो क्या करते हो जो ये कर रहे हो हाँ मैं फिर उनको पता ही नहीं लगेगा मैं एक्चुअली प्रॉब्लम बुला रही हूँ कि शायद जब इसमें बाय डिफ़ॉल्ट वर्सेस वाला आता है करियो तो एरर मारता है इसकी प्रॉब्लम होगी नहीं सिस्टम में अभी अभी हम नीचे यही सेशन करेंगे फिर आपकी जो भी क्वेरीज़ ह
बिकॉज अभी क्या होता है इस टाइम पे इनकी क्वेरीज भी खुश नहीं होती है यू वर कनेक्टेड बिफोर और नॉट आप पहले कनेक्ट हो गए यहाँ पे कोई पावर प्रॉब्लम आई थी उसकी वजह से थोड़ी देर डिस्कनेक्ट हो गए थे बीच में आपने इंस्ट्रक्शन सुन ली है अभी मैंने जो बोली थी कि हाँ जी मैं फाइल में से न्यू प्रोजेक्ट करके वो कर लिया हाँ। और का दे दिया हो गया कुछ भी नहीं नहीं आप अभी जो मैंने सारा बताया आपने वो देखा आप ऐसा कीजिए आप यूट्यूब पे ना ये जो मैंने अभी लेक्चर दिया ये वीडियो डल चुकी है आप वहाँ से इंस्ट्रक्शन लेके सभी को बता दीजिए कैसे करना है बिकॉज इलेवन थर्टी टू ट्वेल्व थर्टी हमारा प्रैक्टिकल सेशन रहेगा तो प्रैक्टिकल सेशन इज एट योर एंड जैसे हम लोग अपने यहाँ कर रहे हैं आप लोग करेंगे उसके बाद ट्वेल्व थर्टी वी विल मीट एंड वी विल आई विल बी हैविंग योर क्वेरीज वट एवर क्वेरीज हाँ जी हेलो हेलो हाँ जी मैं YouTube पे कौन से नाम से नाम सब्सक्राइब आपने दिया है? NIPTR Chandigarh. Uh, मैं में जाके और फिर फिर आप YouTube पे लिखिए NIPTR Chandigarh. Yes. उसके बाद आप लिखिए सिमुलेटिंग क्लाउड क्लाउड सिम कंसेप्ट इस पे आ जाए थैंक यू